Okay, I had a request to go through a photo restoration, kind of a start to finish request. Um, because of the time length the, the we have on YouTube and the size of the videos, I can't do really a full in-depth one, but I wanted to start with this sample picture here. Um, the first thing that I would do is I would go to my dropper and go down to my measure tool and then drag out a line tracing, not tracing, but following the edge of the picture and then I would do image rotate canvas arbitrary and you'll see that it's just a slight rotation and what that does is it kind of straightens the picture up so that when we crop it we don't lose as much now in this case I'm gonna go ahead and start at a corner whoops I'm gonna start at a corner and drag upward and as I'm dragging if I was to hold my sh my spacebar down I could drag like this okay so I sometimes do that until I get it just about right and then I crop it. Okay, and then I deselect. Now I've obviously got a lot of problems in this photograph. What I would try to do first is adjust it a little bit. I'll do image adjustments, levels, and you see that I have almost no white in the entire picture and my black is okay. Um, but I'm gonna drag my white and bring it kinda up to about where that hill starts to climb and let me undo or uncheck, uncheck preview so you can see what I've done. Okay, and the next thing I would like to do is fix this up here and this down here. Those are the pretty, the major points here. I would probably go ahead and start with the clone stamp, use a larger brush, and maybe something that's, you know, um, feathered, and maybe a little bit smaller than that. And I'm going to go ahead and go over here to where there's trees and stuff and hold alt and click and then come up here and then just start painting it okay now you can see that this piece and this piece look too similar so I'm gonna go down to this piece here alt click and then maybe paint some of this stuff out so it's not quite so obvious and if it still looks a little obvious just take another piece and paint out part of something all right, so that piece is fixed. Let me go ahead and kind of fix this piece up here in the corner. And down here, I can click, alt click. I'm still on my clone stamp tool, so I'm gonna alt click and then paint out the corner here. And I may even be able to paint out that wrinkle. Now you can see I have two identical pieces here. I can even correct those. And you might wanna go image mode grayscale if you you know want to bring up some more detail and then maybe try auto levels and then auto contrast and you can see that I, I kinda already have a pretty good picture here now once you get it all set you know you can make all kinds of changes for example if you really wanted to get creative with your clone tool and this isn't really photo editing I mean photo restoration it's photo editing but let's say you wanted to make it look like they had a little more money had an extra horse here just go over here a little bit and start painting in another horse alright so now they're a two horse family okay I'm gonna undo that one anyway so y what you can do and this isn't a very high resolution picture this is a hundred percent if I had a, a higher resolution picture I'd go in here and I'd really correct these things you know drop down my brush size and um, paint out these little blemishes and I try to you'll notice that I move my brush around a lot kind of it, it almost looks jerky what I try to do is not do anything in a straight line because if I have something like I'm trying to correct some water over here and I start painting the line is very obvious but if I start over here and I, I kinda meander a little bit and kinda go around and you know fix things up like this and try to blend things a little bit every once in a while I get something that screws up and I just click and erase it um, All right. Now that's kind of a, a basic photo restoration and it's not a full restoration like for example doing a face is much harder or a, a portrait of somebody because little blemishes or little changes that you make become very obvious. For example if you change the way somebody's eyes are set or you try to copy a piece of another eye you can be having the, the person l not look like the person anymore. But these kinds of pictures are fairly easy. Um, and if you get to that point where you want to send it back to sepia tone you can go into your actions under your image effects and run a sepia tone continue oops let me flatten this first 
flatten image. Image mode, let me go back to color, because it needs to have color for a sepia tone. And then play. And I've got a nice little sepia tone image. And if I was to revert back to what I started with, it looks better than the original. So anyway, I hope that helps, and I hope that answers your questions. If you have any more requests or ideas, um, just give me an email. Thanks a lot.